Hey, second grade, a little bit of phonics with Mrs. Barhorst again today. Um, I want to talk to you about yesterday's lesson, and we're going to go on to consonants today. We are talking about how in the English language we communicate, and we communicate through writing letters, talking, um, and the way we do that is pieces and parts of words are made up of letters. And I've talked to you a little bit about before, there are two different kinds of letters in the English language. We have vowels and we have consonants, okay? Vowels and consonants are vowels we talked about yesterday, are A, E, I, O, and U. There are five of them. Sometimes Y, but always those five, those A, E, I, O, and U. And just to remind you, those vowels have two sounds, and we're going to look through the picture cards as a reminder today. Apple, a, ah, say it with me. Acorn, a, elephant, e, eh, equals, e, inch, i, eh. good, make sure you're saying them. Icicle, i, octopus, ah, overalls, o, umbrella, a, uh, and unicorn you just to remind you when coding these words when you're trying to be a detective and decode words you're unsure of this long line is a macron it's a long u sound it says its name and this little smile face is a breathe and it's the short sound uh okay so if the letter is not a vowel it must be a who knows consonant it must be a consonant so we're going to go through our consonants today and we're going to go through them just by looking at the letter cards and then we'll do the picture cards that remind you what the keyword is um, I'm going to have you echo read it first so you'll see Z go ahead and say it Z Whoop. Y W sure you're repeating V T S R P N M L K J H G, now this is kind of a fancy computer G, but it is a G. F, D, C, and B. Just a little trick. If you find yourself um, reversing or flipping around Bs and Ds, take a look. First of all, I try not to have them right next to each other when I'm doing the cards. But if you start these two letters the same way when you write them, your muscle memory gets confused. You start at the top and you get down and you're like, oh man, do I go to the right? Do I go to the left? Well, we're going to start them in two different ways. So the B, we start at the top, go down and around. For the D, when you're writing, start like a C and then go up and down, okay? Start with a C and then go up and down and that's going to help you not switch your Bs and Ds around. Just a little helpful hint that helps me because I know I struggled with that when I was in second grade. Oh, I found, I think I lost this one. And the letter C. The rest of the consonants we're going to go through again, but we're going to use the picture cards this time. The reason the picture cards are so important is when you're spelling, um, we sometimes have a hard time applying what we've learned in phonics class. So I can give you the key words and I can give, or the pictures, and it will help you. If you're spelling a word like best, but you have it V-E-S-T, I'll say, mm, not vest, b, like balloon. And then you should be able to make that connection and know that it's the letter B. So it's important. We're going to keep asking you to practice these. Vest, v. Say it with me. Tent, t. Be careful. Make sure you clip the ends off. It's not ta, because then we start to write a T and a U. It sounds like ta. T U, but you gotta clip it. You gotta t and kind of clip it off there at the end. Oh no, sorry guys. Sun, s rabbit, er, say it with me. Good. Pig, p. It's also good to just say it out loud. I know that you know that's a letter P and that's a pig, but if you don't say it out loud, then your mouth can't form the sound and your ears don't hear it. So you gotta do all of those things. You gotta see it, 
You gotta hear it and you gotta do it, okay? Nest, mm. Monkey, mm. Lion, o. Oh. Kite, k. Jar, j. Hat, Goat, g. Fish, Dog, d. Cat, k. Balloon, b. Zebra, z. Yarn, y. And wagon, w. Just so you know that these letters can sometimes make a second sound, but these are the sounds that letters, these letters represent the most, okay? So that is our picture cards. Um, we are gonna go ahead and do one of our worksheets. Now please know that some of the teachers took some pages out maybe um, or left them in and we may not get to them, but that's okay. But everybody should have the pictures, um, not sorry, not the pictures, but the pages that we're going over today. But if not, you can just use a blank piece of paper. This isn't graded. This is so you're listening to the lessons and you do well on the assessment on Friday. First we're gonna do, and this is the second time I've recorded this because I ran out of space, so I have the answers down. We're gonna do um, spelling and high frequency word practice. Number three, I'm going to say a picture, and they're the keywords actually, and I want you to listen for the initial position. The initial position is the beginning sound of the word. Okay, just beginning sound. It's just a different name for beginning sound, initial position. But I do want you to say what I've said. If I say, let me get to this over here so I don't give you one that they have already given you. If I say monkey, I want you to say monkey. So you can see, okay, mmm, what letter represents the mmm sound when my lips look like that and feel like that, okay? So, um, Let's go ahead and start with number one, and that is fish. Repeat fish. Fish. What letter represents the f in fish? And go ahead and write F, because that is the letter that represents the f. All right, number two is jar. Repeat. Jar. Good. Jar. J. Go ahead and write it on number two. And you should have written J. The J hangs below the line, down in the basement. I think a lot of first grade teachers say that. All right, friends. Number three is balloon. Repeat, balloon. B -b Go ahead and write it. And then check with me. Balloon. Now remember what my helpful hint is when writing B's. Start at the top. Go down and around, okay? Number four, we're gonna repeat the word vest, vest. The initial position, v in vest, write it. And then check with me, it should look like that, it's a V. These are all very review first grade skills. I am going a little quickly, and it's just to get that automaticity, that automatic, I got it, I got it, I got it, Mrs. B, okay? Um, number five is sun, repeat, sun. Write the initial position, s, s, and the letter that represents that sound is S. All right. Um, after sun is number six, and it's goat. Repeat goat. Goat. Okay, I'm going to have to do some movement around here. Flip that up. Let's see how it goes here. Oh, I just showed you. Goat. Good. All right, you should have a G, and that also goes down below the line. Don't like how crooked this is. Come on. There you go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Now you see all the answers. Close your eyes. All right, number seven is hat. Repeat hat. Hat. Write the letter. All right, you should have written H. Number eight is rabbit. Repeat rabbit. Brr, good, it's represented by the letter R. Number nine is pig. Repeat pig. P pig. Write it. You should have written a P, which goes down below the line. And the last one, number 10, is zebra. Repeat zebra. And write it. And that is number 10, Z. Now, parents, if you want to go through all the rest of the continents, con continents, don't go to another continent, consonants, you can do that. You can repeat some if you want. I'm not going to take the time to do that. This phonics um, could take an hour and a half a day if I did all the pieces and parts. No kid's going to sit still for an hour and a half a day. So I just kind of take the most important skills and we focus on those. Um, second grade friends, if you're doing this by yourself right now, put a nice second grade X. Don't scribble all over in case your parents want you to go back and do that. The next thing we're going to do is still consonants. I'm going to turn the page and I want you to find worksheet three. And like I said, I've done this lesson already. It just didn't want to save for me. So that's why I have this done. But um, the directions are say each picture and write the initial position like we just did. But this time you can see it. Okay. So to myself, I said monkey mm, and I wrote it. I want you to say it out loud. Fish, fish. Say it, do it, hear it, okay? Jar, j, jar. B balloon, b, b. Start at the top and around. Vest, v, v. I want you to pause this video and do this whole page by yourself. And then when you hit play again, I'll have the answers for you. Thanks, friends. All right, welcome back. Here we go. I'm going to go quickly because, again, you should have this done. We pause the video. I'm just trying to get it just right for you. So you should have done this. You should have done sun, S, goat, G, hat, H, rabbit, er, and pig, P. P represents the P sound, okay? Check your work. And here is a zebra. You should have written the letter Z for the beginning or initial position of zebra. Wagon, you should have a W. Nest is an N. Yarn is a Y. And lion is O. Moving on downtown here, we've got a cat. Sorry, guys. I will get better at this. I'm just not very good yet. So you should have a C for cat, a K for kite, a D for dog. I'm going to start like a C, and then I'm going to go up and down, and then a T for tent. All right? We're going to go ahead and do the sight words on the back of this page because we did not do them on the previous page, but you can still do them. Make sure you know them. So I'm going to turn this page, and on the back is a couple of sight word practices. We're going to read and spell, and I like to read them one more time at the end. Remember, friends, not every piece and part of these high-frequency sight words make sense with our phonics rules. They don't follow the rules. There's fair parts, like some of them do, like into, I hear I and into, okay? But the O doesn't usually say ooh by itself. So there's unfair parts that don't follow the phonics rules, and that's why we memorize them by sight. Also because high-frequency words means they're frequently in your books. They make up 75% of the words in your books. So if you know your sight words, you know most of the book before you even open it and look at it. So it's very helpful and that's why we do it. That's my clock. So into, I-N-T-O, into, we can mark it off. Of, O-F, of, said, 
S-A-I-D, said, that is in books a lot, the, T-H-E, the. Now there is a fair part, right? T-H usually sounds like th, but the, the E doesn't really make the sound it's supposed to. It's a rule breaker. Two, T-O, this one is like I go to the store. Where, W-H-E-R-E, -E, where, where are you? It's an asking word. Um, the word that I'm wearing clothes, I have, a, I wear a gray shirt, is spelled like that. It's also a sight word, it's just not one right now. This is the number word two, two, T-W-O, two. And here's what, W-H-A-T, what. So we've talked about vowels, we've talked about consonants, we've talked about the initial and the beginning position. We've talked about vowels uh, making two sounds. Remember, English language has 26 letters, which makes at least 40, about 44 sounds, because um, you can do different combinations of letters, your digraphs, your blends, and things like that. Um, keep practicing these sight words, they're right here. Keep thinking about the sounds, and I'll have a video eventually after we get all these letters going that's going to go through the cards, and it really helps to have those picture cards memorized. And we'll have the phonics dance eventually with the hunks and chunks, but I think that's it for today. Just keep read, read, reading, and while you're reading, think about, oh yeah, that word starts with an M like monkey, like my picture cards. What did I learn in phonics that's going to help me when I'm reading? That's the whole point of phonics, okay? So love you guys, and thanks for listening, and hopefully I keep getting better at this, I'm trying to get like a beach scene or something behind me, but I couldn't figure it out, but I'll get there, all right? All right, guys, email me at barhorstr at bathwildcats.com, extension 4130, if you need me, and I will see you guys soon. See you.